Hey everybody, this next video will be about the track and uh, fabbing up the, the sprocket. So uh, as everybody knows, the drive sprocket is, is done, at least on one side. And I uh, cleaned it up, ground it down a little bit. Um, fabbed up the other one, just tack welded everything. Going to uh, finish one side in case there's something wrong. <laughs> It still needs to be replaced or fixed, so right now. So we're going to put together a couple little videos just to show what I've been working on. And uh, there's a pile of hot metal. It's uh, I finished the welds on all of the on all of the guide brackets uh, for one track. So now I'm going to take this and uh, polish up the, get rid of the slag, and then grind them off a little bit just to clean them. And we'll see you guys later. Well, just showing you guys, I'm in the middle of getting these brackets all done. So you saw they were all welded up. So here we go. All welded. So from welded, slag on it, bits on it, ground, cleaned up, polished a little bit, to painted. Painted flat black. So yeah, it's looking pretty good. Okay, got a little update. So I've got, in the end, turned out to be 97, I'm sorry, 197 of these, three short. And uh, the cleats got, that's a 50. And then I got another 48 here. So uh, I actually don't know the exact quantity I'm gonna need because we don't have the final dimension yet. But uh, as soon as I, I'm going to assemble some track, I've got the tracks just laid out here. I'm going to start putting it together. And once I get the track together, I'll do uh, probably about 25 feet of track. And then the next step is to fabricate the front wheel for the front idler, just to tension it. So uh, before I can pick the final dimension, I have to do that. So. But it's looking pretty good. We'll get the track put together and uh, hopefully can lay it out. Put the temporary wheel up here and then we'll know what length we need. Okay, got the track assembled. Um, yeah, that's a lot of track. I think I'm pretty close on distance right now. But, uh, I'll be short a little bit so now I'm going to stop doing the track and I'm going to assemble this front wheel it'll be the tensioner wheel I'm going to put a big bolt on it to uh, tension um, probably what I'll have to do here is take and cut this and then make it angle up a little bit so that that wheel is sitting up here should work okay so uh, getting ready to mount the tracks um, as you can see here, the tracks are ready to go. Got got the bra got a bracket welded on to the frame. That's gonna darken to there. It's welded on. No holes. That's the line for the uh, track, and. Uh, made an adjuster here so if you screw this in it pushes the wheel out screwing this bolt in here pushes the wheel out then uh is your tensioner for the track uh, it's just tacked in place right now but i'm gonna finish that off here soon next video i want to definitely have put the wheels back in there finish there's some back welding behind the brackets got to do and underneath on the frame and then I want to put the wheels back on wrap the track around it and uh, then I can find out exactly the right length of the track because right now I don't know for sure so I only did up 80 cleats 80 cleats on the track um, I just I think it's around 95 and I have 98 so but 80 is a good place to stop now and uh yeah next video next weekend hopefully 
get this finished. I raised the whole machine up. Also, I should mention that another uh, three and a half inches and leveled it. It was actually tilted a little bit. So now it's sitting. You can see that the tracks will clear. Any of the uh, any of the wob the walking beams will uh, lots of room won't hit the body. And uh, this won't be an issue because right now it's all the way in. Once we adjust the nut out, it'll push the wheel out, and you only need about a, an inch of clearance here to clear that wheel. So yeah, next video. It's been a long day. Brad Wiggles signing out. Thanks for watching.